Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I hadn't decided on what I was going to say there. That's so funny. Okay, so I am just making a video of my house because my friend who can't come and see me is wanting to know what all my stuff looks like. So I'm going to show her. So first we have the picture wall, which just has a conglomeration of all the the kids and dogs and and whatever. There's my great Dane right there. Anyways, and then this, so this would be the foyer. So this is uh, dog food, um, some craft storage, and this cabinet's for people's mails and board games and stuff like that. So then you come into the living room. Oh, wait. Okay, so these curtains right here. And there's one over here as well. These are like windows from where this used to be a, a two-family unit. And I got these ass-kicking curtain, uh, curtain panels. Put one on each one. Just my little, my little dudes. Oh, yeah, and up here is my gargoyle that says, welcome. <laughs> welcome, I want to eat your brains. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so <clears throat> this is my living room. Um, that whole shelf right there is all full of movies. There's uh, approximately 400, maybe more. Um, the TV in the living room, and then, of course, my stereo speaker. And there's another gargoyle up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to keep the window out of it because I... Okay, so those down there are these crazy goblets that I'm making. There's a whole story there with those. Um, these are all my orchids and my hibiscus. Right now, this orchid is blooming. Look how, look how pretty. Whoops, sorry. Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. It's like, the, it's almost a... A green and then it has all those red veins it's so crazy anyway and then this is the the we call this the Boone Street something or other there's five plants the Boone Street jungle there's five different kinds of plants in this pot <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with those there's a couple more hanging up there and a skeleton okay so Go well, this way. All right. So the black picture up there is one my daughter made. There's a poem on it. Uh, the three balls light up at, at they look like uh, universes, basically, if you turn them on at night. And there's my Geiger poster. Um, this sort of became like an out, uh, uh, an art, an exhibit wall, I guess, kind of, sort of. So that one's a big old uh, puzzle. I also have over here that this this puzzle is uh you know you can't see it, can you? There it is. The one on the right there. That's Stonehenge. That's mine. Okay, so turn around. So the and that's the couch. Okay, so turn around this way, my stereo. Uh some art projects on the wall that I've been working on. Um gargoyles. Um, you know, witchy stuff, witchy stuff, I'm a witch. And then this is my, um, antique vanity. I have to really back up. It's a good size piece of furniture. Look at that. It is gorgeous. My grandma gave it to me years ago, years and years ago. I love it so much. It has the original beveled mirrors and the original handles and everything. It's a cooler watch. So I made this out of a couple pieces. I put them together and said, you know, you look good with your a hand as your body. Just my little black gnome dude. Okay. So uh, we're moving this way. Okay. That's a perpetual calendar I made that I have not changed since March. <laughs> I don't care. Up there's some weird little cubby. I never could figure out why they put that there. But I, that's Mr. Bones and Sticks and Stones are the, his animals. Okay, so, oh, and then there's this like little uh, 
alcove sort of kind of dealio that I put things I don't know where else to put. This is a white sewing machine from from way back. Belongs to a friend of ours, but I'm just hanging on to it forever for him. <laughs> there used to be a set of Christmas lights uh, hanging up here. And that was always like the the nightlight for the house. Like it would be just the right amount so you could walk through the house without flipping bright ass lights on. I hate light. I hate bright lights. Okay, so this is my The Witch is in. <laughs> this is my craft room. Okay, we'll start on this side, just kind of go around and and I'll show you. Okay, so over here, um, supplies and tools, all supplies and tools and things I've already made, things are already done, I don't know what to do with, that sort of thing. More supplies, paper, um, this is where I sit. My wonderful friend gave, them, gave me this chair and oh my, let me tell you. So this is actually my little corner of the space here. I have all my pertinent uh all my pertinent tools and glue. And here's my cricket that I just bought myself. Is that cool or what? Um uh, let's see. It really is a cricket. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> This is a new project I'm working on right now for my grandson. Put all these uh, crayons on a canvas and then you use, I used a blow dryer, but I have a heat gun. So I use a heat gun on it and there's just a melt down the canvas. We'll find out later today. Okay, so every single thing. Uh, from that shelf down, I made. <laughs> all this I made all these books there's books there's um, jars there's like potion jars there's galaxy in a bottle there's different things fun things I made a whole bunch of different stuff and um, again more supplies but then there's my Christmas advent I also have a spooky uh a spooky advent. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> There's one that counts the days to Halloween. And that one down there does too. The Jack one. And, uh, what did I? I don't know. It's somewhere. Okay. There's my, uh, darn windows just ruining everything, isn't it? Let's see if I can get it close enough. Okay, this paper is all eyeballs. Um, this one is is skulls and whatnot. Okay, uh, that's my version of Easter decoration. Oh yeah, and back here too. I forgot to show you this one. This is for Easter as well. There's a spider on that bunny. A coffin on that bunny with a skeleton inside. <laughs> and uh, an awesome, it's an awesome purple and black witchy bow right there on that guy. All right, got that back together. Okay, sorry, I forgot about that. Okay, so then all of this. Oh, and there's just one more shelf right here. That's all. Okay, focus. There we go. All this stuff here, too. I'm in the middle of going through things, getting rid of things. You know, we're going to have to move, so I'm going to have to do it. Oh, so here's Megan's hat. And here's Amanda's hat. Has a veil. Gorgeous. Here's Travis's hat that I made for him. And there's my hat that I've had forever, and I just keep putting things, more things on it. Okay, so the point of that was to show you that uh, these are all of my costumes. 
um, my personal ones. So, you know, you know, those gotta go somewhere. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, uh, bats on the wall. Did I look up high? I showed you everything up high, didn't I? Okay. Here's the kitchen with a bunch of my antique kitchen tools hanging up there. And let's see, this doorway says toxic. This one says insane asylum. This one says focus, enter if you dare. Uh, and we have here the autopsy room. And this is my room. We call it a dead zone. <laughs> I call it a dead zone. Okay, so kitchen, kitchen, all pretty normal on this side, I guess. I got one tombstone and a gargoyle clock, and I have gargoyle switch plate covers. And um, yeah, and then this cool one up here. That's a new tombstone. I like that one. And this really old clock. And all my lanterns across the top. Okay, so this is what I call my witch window. And when we first moved in here, I put this board up and put some, I put nine green bottles on it. The nine green bottles that you can see now that match, I put on that one shelf and then just a few other things. And then I kept getting more things and more stuff and making stuff and getting stuff. And I kept putting it on there. I kept thinking, well, if I was a witch, I'd have a, uh, you know, kind of one place to put all my potions and ingredients and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what this is, the witch window. There are some lights. Uh, I don't think it's the bat lights that work. I think it's some colored ones but anyway there are some lights around it too so at night it looks really awesome but it looks really awesome during the day because of all the colors too so this is my this is my michael myers skull it plays his song <laughs> don't you love that okay so ooh, and i have the uh the square the the cube from, uh, yeah, that one set of movies with the cube. Oh, my God. I'm having a brain fart. This happens to me a lot. Okay. So, that was kitchen. More kitchen. Hey, can you pause that for a minute, kid? Pause that for a minute. Okay, so this is my room. Okay, so here... Behind my door is where I have, like, all my pills and all my personal stuff, you know. And on the back of the door here, my coats, whatnot, right? And then in the closet, of course, is my clothes and my, uh, like, my sheets and stuff like that. So you turn around here. This is a jewelry box I got, my daughter got for me a long time ago for Christmas. And there's my dresser which matches my bed there's my grandson say hi. hi which matches i have a four poster bed see see and there's the table it all matches that okay so up high this came from alaska my stepson gave it to me it's handmade by a native so is that well actually both of those Okay, so there's my tapestry I've just had forever. These curtains here are made from the bandanas, from 70 bandanas. My dog that I used to have, my boxer dog, he loved his bandanas. And he loved getting new ones. And so I got him new ones all the time because they're only a dollar. And I made curtains out of them. They're way long, and I, I have no idea. There is actually other curtains on the window behind that, but that's very funny. So, uh, bats, bats on the wall, okay? Yeah. Bats on the wall. There's a perpetual calendar that is um, dragons, different dragons of the months, and then you just change the days and 
you know, do all that. And so, okay, so uh, this, oh, there's the dragon hands that come out from the wall. They're awesome. Uh, this is all personal stuff of mine that I've gotten, you know, friends from someone or I went to something or something that I thought, or maybe I made it. I don't know, that's possible too. Uh, that just has a certain meaning for me and it needs to stay with me. So it's all up there on that shelf. And uh, there's another bat hanging, two more bats actually. So, yeah, I have stuff on top of stuff. The little things up there. Up where? Oh, my knives. Yeah, I got those from uh, Franklin Mint years ago. They're shaped like coffins. I don't know if you can see it very well. They're shaped like coffins, and then the blade comes out, but the coffin opens up as well. It's pretty cool. So my closet door. Oh, a little bit spooky. PS3. Hang on. The PS3. Hang on. Okay, I I have a thing about making my own bags. I'm, I'm on the quest for the perfect purse. I have not found it yet. So, I've made a whole bunch. I think you can see my wind is blowing right on there. Okay, so I made most of these some of them are from a store but for the most part i made it and i like all these bags i love them i like to change every month to something new so yeah there's all my oh and the, there's one the one i'm using right this minute is this one which i think you'll love it used to be a denim jacket that was way too small for me what's going on here I couldn't, <laughs> I'm fighting with a stool. Okay, uh, here we go. It's a denim jacket that was too small for me, and but I didn't want to just like throw it away or something. So Did the I back of it funny? is, this is all embroidered. It's not just like a, a silk screen thing. It's actually embroidered on there. So I took the jacket apart and I made it into a bag. That's funny. I got all the all the parts. The collar is in the bottom. The um the cuffs are right here where um hold on there. The cuffs are right here, which kind of hold the, the purse closed a little bit. I put those right there. And then the waistband of the coat is what this is. So it's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Okay, so, huh? Oh, I gotta show you my PS3. My grandson said, show him the PS3. Under that thing, there's a bunch of games, but there's my PS3. And I'm thinking that that's about it. Oh, I made this. Let's see if it shows up. I recovered my lampshade with this black, cool black and gray and silver fabric it's really, makes it really dark in here but it looks really dramatic so anyways okay so and that's oh see that sign it says this kitchen closed i'm sick of cooking <laughs> yeah oh and yes that's an old school landline phone it's not hooked up but I don't tell people that. They always walk in and pick it up and go, oh, is this hooked up? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Okay, so, so yeah, here's me sitting in my chair. And then, so this is what I look at every day when I'm being creative. I get ideas, I get inspiration. And up there on the wall, I watch YouTube. <laughs> okay, so this video was for a specific person. You know who you are. Uh, and we'll uh, hopefully talk about it next week. <laughs> okay. Well, have a wonderful day, YouTubers. I'm going to try. And uh, I'll see you next time.